Hello there, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, A Game of Thrones. For the first time in this entire series, we start an episode at peace. Uh, we do have the Iron Throne Pox at the moment, though. If we zoom in, it is causing an absolute scene over here. Um, already 239 deaths, but ignoring that, I think it's time we plan our invasion of Essos. We sailed from Essos to Westeros, <laughs> but now we must sail back. Because I think this is the one series where it makes sense to conquer everything. Malus is ambitious. The Blackfires have taken power and they now they must ensure that they keep power. And I think as going back to Essos will secure that. We have the Stepstones. That's the first step. Uh, Tyrosh. We could get Tyrosh. I don't think... Yeah, we lost Tyrosh when one of the Nine Penny Kings died. Um, we don't have simple Casus though, do we? I mean, we could declare wars. We could declare wars uh, over here. Let's see. So, seize de jour duchy. Um, that's a very tiny little bit of land. Or we could declare war on you. Again, for a very tiny little bit of land. So I think the only way we're going to do this, we can't invade kingdoms, can we? Or can we? Free the slaves of Pentos. Slavery in Pentos will be ended and all slaves will be freed. Ooh, but I don't think there's any way for us to easily invade this. We're going to have to do this a tiny bit at a time. Um, but we do have the Stepstone. So why don't we go down here? Uh, where is my High Scepter? He has 40 learning. Wow. If we fabricate claim on a county, it's going to take 15 months. Do we have nowhere? Ah, uh, it needs to be connected physically by land, right? I mean, why don't we just take the capital of Tyrosh then? If it's going to take 15 months anyway, take the capital and then from here we can start expand, expanding outwards. Um, we're going to go after Tyrosh first, then we'll go for the rest of the Stepstones as well. Uh, maybe we'll get Lys. We have the Disputed Lands, although I don't control them directly, which is where the problem is there. Right, let's unpause. I've been yapping enough. We're already two minutes in and we're not unpaused. Bloody hell, what's happening? Oh, famine has spread again. Oh dear. So my leech. Wait, you look like... Is it just me? Or does he look like the guy from House of the Dragon? The guy with the foot fetish. <laughs> I've forgotten all of their names now. He just has that same posture. And he really does look like him. I don't think it's him though. Uh, well, oh, of course it's not. This is way later in the time setting. What am I saying? Uh, to my liege, I have studied the Valyrian language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Valyrian script. A letter of friendship from a speaker of common. I wish for our future diplomatic dealings to benefit us both greatly. Oh, he's learned Valyrian. Impressive. Send my regards. Uh, I'm very impressed with you, actually. Um, there's a secret at my court. Do you know what? Tell me what it is. Malus's lover secret. Uh, hopefully it's not my soulmate again. I forgot about that. Uh, there's a slave revolt. Yeah, why do we keep getting slave revolts? I don't get it. Camp fever has spread. Where the hell is camp fever? Oh, there's so many plagues. And I guess because we're in charge on everything, one problem is we're going to get plague notifications all the bloody time. So I'm going to start ignoring these and not realize when there's a plague in my capital. Uh, fun stuff, fun stuff. With my leave, my daughter, Erelo, and a wet nurse parade into my chamber. Celeste pauses like a herald and proclaims, My liege, you witness a monumental occasion. Erelo has a mighty gift to offer you. She nudges off for one. Go ahead, Erelo, tell him. Arthur! <laughs> my voice... I lost a tooth. Oh, I can't do that voice anymore. Um, let's see. Here, I will give you 40 gold. A gift. A set's a gift. Wait, did they fix this? No. You, ah, oh, we break even. They ruined my, they ruined my get quick, my get rich quick scheme of selling my children's teeth. How dare they? Was that the CK3 devs or the Game of Thrones devs? I'm not sure. Oh, King Malus' pox has started now. Yeah, sure. Bra blame everything on me. Why not? Uh, as I patiently wait for the fetching of my clothes, the servant stutters. My lord, no one can find your garments. Arella, you shall be known as the princess of fashion. Look at that evil little laugh she had going on as well. King Malus' pox. Is that actually near me, though? Yes, it's down here. It's only a minor plague, but... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, this plague seems to be fizzling out now, at least, which is nice. Um, that's very nice. Pay a ransom, 10 gold. Sure, I will accept that. Thanks for reminding me. I have prisoners. Right, so any of you good 
fighters. It doesn't look like well, you're you're bloody terrible. You have 17 prowess. I'll tell you what. Uh, convert, and I shall recruit you. Never mind. Okay. Um, Joe, I'll, I'll just send you to Essos and take your gold. Why not? That's 15 gold there. Thank you very much. Uh, Cleo, um, you got 26 gold. I'll send you back to Essos as well. Why not? Uh, you don't have any gold, so you can stay in the dungeons. An Ironborn. Do you know what? Um, I'm going to send you to the wall. Yeah, how about that? How about that? <laughs> uh, I should have sent them all to the wall, really, shouldn't I? Uh, Lady Mirren is albino. Interesting. It's hard to know when they're Targaryens or albino. Ah, that's one thing I wanted to do, speaking of Targaryens. Uh, right, let's wait for all of these to pop up. I need to check which Targaryens are still alive. Yeah, let's ignore the plates. Ignore the plates. Uh, we need to keep an eye on Targaryens. Because I do need pure blood for my children. Um, if we go all here, there are some Targaryens. But the problem is, I think they're already betrothed off. Yeah, see, you're the only Targaryen female alive now. Oh, too far away to interact with. Wait, where are you? Hello. <laughs> They tried to hide the Targaryens behind the book. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> right. Um, okay, I think the Targaryens are gone. They've, they have fled, guys. Maybe there will be a rebellion in the future, but I think they're... Oh, no. Do I have a daughter? I, mean, I have a daughter. Am I going to have to marry? I might have to marry them off to one another. They do both have Blackfire blood. Valyrian blood. The only problem is, is their mother. Who's their mother? Um, it was you, wasn't it? Lysandra. She's not Valyrian. We have weakened the blood a little bit, but there are, it's, there is still kin's blood. We will have to marry them off to one another. To my liege, I've been hosting your Master of Lords, Lord Paramount Hoster, for several weeks, and he has helped me truly see the splendor of the realm under your rule. I am nothing less than honored to serve as your vassal. <laughs> I am blessed to have such grateful servants. Do you know what we could do? We could do a grand tour. Uh, wrong one. Wrong one. Activities. Activities. Uh, we could do a grand tour. And I could do a... Yeah, majesty tour. And I could visit this. Oh, but everyone hates me so much anyway. Is it even worth it? I feel like it's not worth the gold, is it? No. Let's just patiently wait for our fabrication, and then we're going to continue conquering. I think that's the plan here. Sorry for the frame rate. It's uh, it's nothing you can do. It's Game of Thrones mod stuff. The people in my realm continue to be beset by the Iron Throne pox, and superstition is rife among their number. I have been informed that they are blaming the plague on the followers of the Lord of Light. They claim that foreign traders practicing rollerism are bringing with them plagues from abroad and the wrath of the seven who are one for their evils. These acts have been condemned broadly by the sept of the realm, but nevertheless, the trials continue. We get plague trials minus 30% development, or I could stop them and I get popular opinion minus 10. My popular opinion is already so bloody low, it doesn't really matter. Um, the plague is still spreading even though it's dropping. Interesting. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal Lady Emeria has had an affair with my vassal Lord Alan. Guards, throw her in the dungeons. I have made a friend with the High Septon. Even though he absolutely hates me, we have become friends. Interesting. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening in this storyline. I really don't. Kim Tom. King Tom. He is a foreign ruler now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's just... Oh, I unpinned my son because I banished him. That's right. Um, and he went north of the wall. He's he, he's up here. Oh, bloody hell. So many pop-ups. Uh, the endless clash of metal and metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It's a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To raise my hammer, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. No. I will not trust heart with my trusted war hammer. I think it's important to be comfortable in battle, and it has served me well this far. We have taken the Iron Throne. More reports roll in from the Lordship of Longgrass as the Iron Throne pox continues to rage. I Septon, having brought me the latest of the missive personally, slams a hand on my desk. 
The people expect us to be performing some acts to help them. He insists, gesturing at the message. No, I've seen this type before. All we need to do is purge some of the filthy animals that have been bedeviling the area. The affliction surely won't last without them. He leans back in satisfaction as I ponder. It is the will of the seven who are one. We must call the sheep. I get disastrous all oh, supply limit and taxes drops. We must try it. Let us call the sheep. My high scepter bursts into the throne room late at night. Uh, a tattered message in hand. My king, I bring terrible news regarding the Iron Throne Pox. Blasphemers and heretics are crying that the world is coming to an end, claiming that the Iron Throne Pox was sent to us by the seven who are one to mark the beginning of Doomsday. The gospel is doing little but stir panic and suicide in the local population. How may we fraught the hysteria? I could root them out. Or oh, we lose more taxes. 50% taxes. Oh. Apocalyptic cult for 10 years. Oh, no, we can't get that. That's minus. Oh, we're going to have to lose taxes. We're going to have to lose the taxes. I can't I can't get the apocalyptic cult. Oh, the plagues are, are bloody brutal, aren't they? Right, let's zoom in a little bit. Are we still increasing control here? We're not. Did we finish? We didn't. So why are you stopping? Uh, increase the bloody control. <laughs> I need more money. Bloody hell. Uh, there's a hunt there. I'm not going to go to this one. We're, we're building our windmills. Okay. Gold is the lifeblood of a realm and merchants bring much of that wealth. The Iron Throne Pox still spreads across the same realm. However, and Clifford has brought me missives from trade-rich coastal provinces. Right, we get a lot of uh, plague pop-ups, don't we? As well as notifications. Um, what's this? Every realm in the coastal province gains strict coastal quarantine for 15 years. More taxes! Wow. But they're going to be losing taxes anyway, right? Wow. Um, they are to stay isolated for 20 days after they land. Yeah, let's just do this one. We lose so much um, development and whatnot and taxes. This is actually kind of crazy. And plagues affect me because it's it's going to lower taxes for everyone, which and they pay me taxes. My income is just going to drop and drop and drop and drop. Wow, plagues are quite common, huh? A grand wedding, Lord Dennis. Uh, I, I, I won't attend this one. Uh, if it was a bigger house, then I would consider that. Right, the controls are almost so sorted. The march of sweats. How many plagues are there, for Christ's sake? So we got this one. King Malus's pox has killed 39. We got the march of sweats down here. We got the bloody famine fever. We got the Baldrick's pox. Bloody hell. Yeah, there's a lot of plagues going on. Uh, march of sweats has dev devastated the people of Sever Isles. My guest Roro informs me that the local trade and produce has completely dried up as the people wallow in their homes and in the streets, awaiting the stranger's call. He blames the plague on the bad air surrounding the dead and dying, and proposes that countering it with a vast field of peonies would do much to dispel this bad air and slow the spread of the disease. It is worth a try. Let's just try it. We gain a little bit of popular opinion, that won't hurt. But yeah, there's, a, there's quite a lot of plagues. Maybe on the next playthrough I will turn down... I'm not going to turn them off, but I will just turn down. 50 gold, yes, please. Turn down their occurrence. Um, popularity. Their spawn rate, if it's possible. That's the word I'm trying to get to. Since I've had this cold, my, my brain has been fried even more. Right, increase control. So we, we lost this. Nice. And we have finished increasing control in King's Landing now. Okay. So King's Landing is good. We're building stuff up. Right, what about Summer Hall or Summer Field, I guess I should say. Can I restore this? I can restore the ruins? <gasps> Ooh. Yes. Okay, let's start um, restoring Summer Hall. That's going to be good. 600 gold there. Uh, what I'm also going to do then is start improving the control over here as well. Uh, that's going to take four years. That's not too bad. Let's go back to King's Landing. And the sound of laughter rings down the hallways at courts these days. Strange given the Baldrick's pox. <laughs> Another bloody plague. What the hell? Um, <laughs> oh, dear, this is utterly ridiculous. Uh, and never has a dialogue reply finished. Uh, summed that up perfectly. To my liege. I proud for documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case. You are the rightful lord of the county of Tyrosh. See it done. It is time to go to war. 
They only have 2,000 men? Huh? No Cassus Belly to choose from. And yet I can declare war on you. Is it because I paused too early? No. That is so broken. So broken. What? Can I not go to war against them? Do I have the claim? Yeah, I do have the claim. We can't declare war through this menu, can we? Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's fabricate another claim next to it. Uh, and we'll see if something changes. Maybe I just can't take the capital like that. Maybe there's some special rule. Uh, but I don't know of. That would probably make sense, actually. Uh, what I'm also going to do. We're in a new age now. Where I'm going to unpin a lot of these characters. So I can keep an eye on my on my children here. There we go. Let's keep an eye on Sila and Dorella here. Uh, they're going to be important to the future of the realm. A new martial perk is available. Right. Mercenary higher cost. We don't need that. Control territory, defender advantage, a man's home. That could be useful in the future. What I'm going to do as well. Son has learned a language. Ah, he's married to a Greyjoy. No, no. Yes. And his guardian. No, his guardian's not a Greyjoy, but he's learned the, the language. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm confused what's happening. I'm going to have to break this betrothal. This is going to annoy the Greyjoys a lot. And what I'm going to have to do to keep the blood pure is marry him to his sister. How do I sort by... Ah, oh, there's no quick one here, is there? There's no quick uh, marry to your sister setting. <laughs> um, let's see. If we just uh, go Blackfire. There we go. Let's marry them two together. Now, the good thing is they can become Herculean, robust. They can become giant. Uh, they can also become ugly, though. They are related, and there is a 288.8% .8 risk of their children being inbred. Oh, because they're not like Targaryens. Do we not have a special dynasty modifier? How, how does one see this? Blackfire. We have this house modifier. Divided dynasty. This house has been cast off from the main dynasty. And cannot call non-house dynasty members for aid. Deaths between divided houses will not result in a Kinslayer trait. Huh? Uh, we get this though. Blood of old Valyria. The blood of old Valyria is still strong in this dynasty's veins. Inbreeding chance minus 95%. But this says 288%. We, we, we try it. We try it. Where's the harm in trying it? Eh? Right, dangerous faction. Uh, I think it's the peasants. I'm not sure. Greetings, my impressive liege. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Excellent news. Excellent news. The Greyjoys are not going to like that one bit. Uh, <laughs> but I must keep the king's blood pure. As pure as we can make it. To my liege, due to your obvious lack of piety, a condition which worries the church greatly... I've granted Lord Prester of Longgrass a claim on the High Lordship of King's Landing. Come and get it if you're brave enough. I dare you. I dare you. Right. We just inherited uh, a crap uh, ton of stuff. So we got Lower Sunstone. Um, we got Bloodstone. And we got Dwarfstone. Uh, they're all over here. Okay. What I'm going to do is just give these to... Yeah, let's just give them to one of these. There we go. Um, let's give all of these out. Uh, I should have done a local ideally, actually, shouldn't I? Like this, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it matters. I think they're all going to hate me equally. Right, King's Landing has been upgraded. Wait, were we not upgrading this? Ah, no, you have this. Can I revoke this? No. Okay, but I'm going to upgrade it anyway. Right, so King's Landing. I'll tell you what, let's upgrade the windmills again, just because I know it's giving me it's giving me gold. So it can't be bad to upgrade this, surely. Surely not. What's the development in King's Landing? 22. We do have natural development growth, though, which is nice. Um, wow. Wow, we have a lot. Okay, so I don't need to focus on development growth. A grand tournament. Uh, I will skip on it just this once. Just this once. Uh, we are a little bit busy. With reading plague pop-ups. <laughs> oh, there's no plague near us now. Uh, but the capital's not isolated anyway. It naturally ended by itself, apparently. 
So we don't have to worry about this. What I want to do, I want to be going to war with Tyrosh. But for some reason, we can't declare war. Let's see, has anything changed? No. Hmm, let's speed things up just a tiny bit then. Uh, I want to get this fabrication here. It's currently at 65%. Let's just look at all the, the plague pop-ups. My knight has qualified for a tournament. 50 gold, very well. I shall accept the 50 gold. Uh, our accolades are fine as well. We're not endorsed by my high septon. To be fair, I'm not endorsed by by anyone. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Um, let's see, another secret. 25 gold. Um, no, I'm not interested. I want to start saving gold now for rebuilding Summer Hall. That's my plan. Right, 80% complete. Let's see if we get this claim. Maybe we can declare war on Tyrosh. Level of Splendor has increased. Did I ever... Do we have legacies? Yeah, we can't pick any legacies because we already started with low. Uh, in fact, we even have. Yeah, we our next legacy, we could even get the finish the blood tree. I, I never go for the blood tree just because it's it's so boring. But this one makes sense when you're a Valyrian or a Blackfire, I guess. Right, 100% chance. Ooh. Ooh, that's huge. To my leech. I have proud few documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case for Drew the rightful lord of the county of Bleeding Bay. Seeing as Laressa unfortunately insists on being worshipper of Trios, I could even argue that Drew have a claim on the Duchy of Tyrosh by divine rights. <laughs> um, I could get the claim, or I could do this. Again, Umpress claim? On the Duchy? Ah, this is just the Duchy. This is... Okay, let's get both. Let's get both. 100 gold, I lay claim to Bleeding Bay and the Duchy of Tyrosh. Right. Let's see if this changes anything over here. I do have claims now. Right. I just couldn't take the, the capital straight away. Okay. Lads, it is time for war. Do we have somewhere with good supply over here on this part of the ocean? Um, in fact, it doesn't really matter because there's no crossing here anyway. Um... So what we could do, I mean, we could raise them down here in Sunspear. Uh, we have 36,000 supply down here. So let's go ahead and raise the men. Uh, they all split into different armies anyway. That's fine. <laughs> let's just get them all in the ocean. It's going to take 40 days to raise the lads anyway. Uh, and then once we get over there, we'll split into a siege and army and whatnot. After all my lectures and all my shared wisdom, my daughter Arella has finally embraced the true faith. I always knew she would make a good little faith of the seven one day. So she now believes in the faith of the seven. Very nice. If I can convert her culture as well, that would also be wonderful. Although I don't know the Iron Throne Pox is still spreading. I thought that was ending. Has it started up again? Well, where am I? I've gone too far. Uh, where, where even is the Iron Throne Pox? Man, I don't even know anymore. I... It's too hard to keep track of all the plagues. Right, let's just send the armies to war. We're going to war, lads. 200 gold to embark, by the way. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, 43,000 men. I'm not quite sure we needed all of these. Uh, but better to have them and not need them than uh, want them and not have them. Uh, is how well I say. To the hysterical King Malus, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Ah. Oh. Right, we've got to deal with the peasants, lads. We got to deal with the peasants. I do have allies that I can call to help with this. So let's call them to the peasant uprising. Um, and hopefully they can do something about that. Task aborted. Oh, yeah, they would have risen in Summer Hall and in King's Landing, right? Oh, bloody hell. Um, okay, right. They're going to join me at least. I don't need my entire uh, army here. Let's crush their army and then I can take back the men at arms at least. Uh, we do have disembark penalty. That was a little bit suicidal. But when you have 40,000 men, I don't think it matters as much. Right. We lost 500, but we killed 5,000. Nice. Let's... Um, do you have men at arms? You do have a few. I'm going to split off just uh, a few men here. Let's take the horsemen. Let's take all of the horses. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, and I'm going to take 5,000 levies. 
I will lead this army. No, I will trust. I will trust my king's guard. Lord Commander Gerald the Stout. You must go back and fend off the peasants. Where are they? Okay, so we've got 2,000 peasants in Summerhorde. That's going to take a while to get there, isn't it? Uh, but you should be able to deal with those. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to end this wall over here. Right. Um, we took all of this, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go this way. <laughs> we're, we're, we're taking the city. There's got to be somewhere to siege here. Prisoners have been taken as well. Okay, can we siege this? No. Let's siege this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, five months. There we go. Uh, and that is with siege equipment. Interesting stuff. Let's ransom some of you just to make sure we don't go into debt. Because we are losing quite a bit of gold at the moment. Uh, where's this army got to? They're about to land. Okay. So the worthless Malus. I've studied the Valyrian language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Valyrian script. A letter of friendship from a speaker of common. Ah, very impressive. My vassals are trying to get closer to me. We're about to lose Summerhall. Or the Charred Hill. Summerhall's over here. Um, but we are going to kill the peasants straight after. What? Wait. Oh, not another pirate conquest. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, I need to call. Let's call in our allies. We're going to be dealing with pirates a lot, aren't we? By the looks of things. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right. Nice, nice. Our allies are going to join us. We're going to crush the peasants. Things are going to work out. There we go. The peasant uprising has been dealt with. To the contentious King Malus, damn your seventh grandfather. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. Right, now that's dealt with. Let's bring this army back to Tyrosh. Uh, and we're going to deal with this. Three months to siege this back. We, how long for them? Seven months. Um, I'm going to bring this army just here. Just in case they get here too soon. I don't want them to fight them because they're probably going to lose that. Even though it's 6,000, the disembark penalties, uh, we've seen how devastating they can be when we are fighting the Targaryens. All right, there we go. We've sieged this. Now we can go and fight these guys. The war is almost won. 99% war score. This battle should secu uh, secure the victory. Jane Lannister? Oh, I have now married Jane. Okay. Which means we have an alliance with the Lannisters. That's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing to have. Uh, with my marriage to Queen Jane, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect the royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Uh, I will collect it because the the chest is looking a little bit empty. Right, we... 100 for 2,000 is not bad. And we just traded 100 for, for 2,000 again. Uh, those are some brilliant outcomes. Right, let's continue the sieging. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to siege one more castle around here. It might, oh, that's the city. Uh, yeah, the barony is the one we need to siege. Let's take this. And then the war has been won. We've got a perk as well. Fort level plus one and plague resistant. Oh, that's nice. So the trees have been upgraded as well. That makes sense. Let's enforce the demands. For the brush, King Malus, may your years be short and miserable. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. So be it. I formed an alliance. And I have taken part of Tyrosh, including the capital. The Bastion. Hopefully we can get a lot of gold from this. Uh, let's combine the armies. Because now... We need to make our way over here and deal with the bloody pirates. 200 gold to embark. It's very, very expensive. Let's at least get some ransoms to pay for this. Um, would be very nice. Someone else has been excommunicated. Welcome to the club, my friend. I was shocked when I caught my daughter Arella trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Lord Bello. She confessed she had thought she could get away with it, but she knows it was wrong. Ah, Arella has become honest. Okay. Okay, as long as you still kill our enemies, that is fine. Um, let's take back this castle from the bloody pirates. One week. Okay, nice quick siege. Uh, and now let's kill the pirates. <laughs> This should be over relatively fast, one would think. Yeah, oh, we only caught 800. They're going to escape. Come on. Catch up to them. I believe. Yes. Wipe them out. And once again, 
The realms are at peace. Disband the armies. Things are looking good. Uh, we lost 100 men in this one. We lost 300 here. But our armies are very strong at this point. I, I don't think many people can stand against us. Unless the Seven Kingdom rolls um, against us, of course. So what do we have now? So we now have Tyrosh. Which we don't earn any gold from. Because... Is it control? Building is disabled for being above the domain limits. Okay, no. No, that's fine. It's urban. I think that's fine. Because isn't King's Landing urban? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, that's just the terrain. Okay, uh, what I need to check is this. Yeah, it's a castle holding. That's what I wanted to check. Right, so Bleeding Bay. I'm probably going to give this away to some... Oh, the Bleeding... Oh, it looks so cool. Two tax though. And I get from this, oh, even more taxes. I want all of this. Ah, oh, I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. Do you know, we'll decide what to do with this in the next episode. Maybe I can give it to my son. Um, doesn't he already have Dragonstone vote? My son already has Dragonstone. That's a much safer place to raise a child and teach him how to rule over a land. Hmm, what to do? Maybe we give away the Bleeding Tower. Fort level 18. This is more protectable. Maybe I keep the bleeding tower. We could, we could. Uh, but that, I would decide in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys, as always. I will see you next time.